Ash dieback is a disease that's very specific to ash trees and it's a fungal infection that attacks the, the water system in the core of the tree and prevents water getting out to the branches, twigs and leaves. So as the name suggests, they then start to die back and eventually that disease will spread into the core of the tree and it will die. I've seen one estimate that says that 80% of trees will be affected by it, 80% of ash trees that is. There's nothing that can be done to prevent it. The disease is carried by spores from the fungus and it's very difficult to prevent that spread because they're carried on the wind by birds, animals, whatever. So all that you can really do is try to confine it when it does occur. And I suppose it's a landowner's responsibility to be aware of the problem and to try not to spread the disease from any small patches of trees that they have. I, I don't think there's any statutory responsibility on landlords to, or landowners to deal with the problem, but it's just a natural part of forestry and tree husbandry to look after trees. They would be responsible from a safety point of view if the trees ever became unstable. But beyond that, I think it's a case of natural care for the, the trees and the wildlife to try to confine the disease and not spread it through carrying branches across fields or whatever and trying to destroy the, the diseased trees in situ. And I think that the role of tree wardens with ash dieback is to, well, first of all, understand and develop an awareness, which I'm very early into, and then to try to get some publicity out into the community, to landowners, parish councils, to the community, to be aware of ash dieback and were necessary to report it or bring it to the attention of people who are responsible for dealing with it. So Leicestershire County Council have developed a booklet giving advice for Leicestershire landowners and that will be going out through tree wardens and they will then be able to disseminate it to landowners in their area where they, they know there are problems with ash dieback and it gives advice on how to recognise it and what to do about it. I think it's quite difficult to be categorically sure that ash dieback is present in a tree. There are some around us here that have got signs of being unhealthy. It's difficult to say whether that's normal ageing or whether it's specifically due to ash dieback. But the sort of things that I look for are dying back leaves and twigs, um, areas that are different than the rest of an otherwise healthy tree.